Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'll teach you how to use Maya Muscle. So what we'll do in this tutorial is we'll start off by creating a simple joint chain using Maya's joint tool. Then we'll apply capsules to those joints and then we'll build our very own muscle for the biceps. So let's get started. So first of all make sure you're in the animation menu set. Go to the top skeleton menu and pick the joint tool. Just reset the settings, these will work just fine. Then we'll hold down the X key and snap to grid and we'll create a simple joint chain. Okay, so once that's sorted, we'll then go in here and rename those. So I like to use a prefix of SK, which is short for skin. This will be the forearm. And lastly, the wrist. Okay, so now we're ready to convert this to a muscle bone surface. So to do that, select both joints that you need. So in this case, we won't need to apply a capsule to the wrist as we're only going to focus on moving the forearm and the shoulder. So first select the shoulder joint and the forearm joint go to the top muscle menu muscle slash bones and convert sur surface to muscle bone here it will ask you which axis to point down this is normally the x-axis and to show you what I mean I'll just click the joint so here you can see if you look closely you can see the x, y and z axis and you can see that the x-axis is pointing down the chain to see this even more clearly you can go to display then transform display local rotation axes so here it's toggled on and you can clearly see where each axis is pointing so usually it will always be pointing down X because that's just the standard way okay so now we'll reselect these joints go back up to the muscle muscle slash bones convert surface to muscle bone and we'll pick the x-axis so now if we go into shaded mode you can see it's added in these capsules which have been parented to each joint's shape node so here we can see the shoulder if you move down under shapes this is a capsule along with all of its parameters so you can adjust the radius and things like that if it appears too large so I'll just drop the radius down to around 0 0.02 0 0.02 and here was the x axis, the capsule axis thing I was talking about so you can change that so if you set it to negative x you can see it points the other direction so when you're setting these capsules up make sure you pick the right axis so I'll set that back to x you can also change how it displays, whether it's wireframe only, or shaded, or wireframe and shaded. I normally just set it back to shaded. Okay, so now we're ready to build our muscle. So to do this, we need to go to the Muscle Builder UI. This can be accessed in two different ways. One way is to go to the Muscle Shelf layout, and then go to this icon here. You can see it says, brings up a UI to build muscles. So click that this will launch it. The other way is to go to the muscle menu again and go to simple muscles, muscle builder and there you go it will launch the muscle builder UI window. Okay so first of all in the build tab we need to attach our two joints so this is effectively the start and end joint of the, of the muscle so select the first joint, the shoulder, and I click this button here with the arrows to attach it. Do the same for the forearm for object 2. And here, this is our resolution, the end spans and end segs, and also the width and fall off. So we can just hit build slash update, and then it gives us a basic muscle. Now the muscle itself is just a knob surface. As you can see, if I minimise this, it's just a standard surface. And we can change the resolution of this by changing the end spans and end segs. So if I 
bump this up to say 10 and quick build update you'll see it's added more resolution and this will help you get a more realistic muscle shape if you like but for now I'm just going to use 7 and to see changes for resolution you need to make sure you press build slash update so you can change the width if you like just set the width to 0.8 that should do and also the fall off of the muscle so I'll set that to 0.65 and also another thing that's important is these end locators of the muscle so this is like the two different attach points you can select these in the viewport or you can click the attach object 1 and 2 in the muscle builder window so as you can see that automatically selects these and then it in this position it's quite important that you get the position of these right so that the muscle moves correctly and realistically so in this position if we were to bend at the elbow we wouldn't the muscle would move back the way slightly because you can see its end point is here so what we actually need to do is move this so press W to go to the move tool hold down W in the left mouse button make sure you're in object mode and then we can move this in the Y in the X axis sorry the Z in the X axis so just move that down to around there that should do fine ok so now we're ready to sort of finalise the muscle, go to the cross section tab and here you can actually select each of the points and modify the basic shape of the muscle so these are just two camera views basically and if you select the curves and hit F8 you go into component mode then if you really want to you know you can scale these up or down or even move them uh, but we shouldn't need to really do that for this tutorial as it's just the basics so go back into object mode select the muscle when you're happy with the muscle shape we can go to the finalize tab so in here it, there's two different deformers there's a the muscle spline deformer and the muscle stretch typically the best one to use is the spline deformer because this gets, gives more realistic results although the stretch deformer is pretty good too but I find that I get a lot better results for this kind of muscle using the muscle spline deformer and then it asks you the number of controls you would like so that's set to 3 which will be fine this will add 3 controls, one at each end and one in the centre and here you can mirror the muscle if you want but we won't need to do that so once you're ready to finalise the muscle hit convert to muscle make sure you select to muscle first and here it will just give you a warning saying you know any changes made will be final so we'll call this mus underscore l underscore biceps and hit ok there you go the muscle has been created so if we select this capsule or this joint you can see you can move that and as you can tell there's not much change in the muscle that's because we need to determine the uh, the squash and stretch start and end so that the muscle knows when to change so to do this we'll send this back to zero and rotate Y for the forearm select the muscle go to the fourth tab in the muscle builder UI scroll down till you get to spline length settings and set current as default so this is like the default state of the muscle then what we'll do is we'll extend the arm to around a precise value let's say 24 select the muscle again so this will be the stretch point so set current as stretch as you can see it's made it way too small and thin but that can be easily solved later on using custom muscle shapes which I'll show in the next tutorial so now if we go to let's say let's say there minus 90 select the muscle this will be our squash set current as squash 
as you can see again it's probably squashed too much but that could be easily fixed so now if we select the joint move between you can see it blends nicely between each of the three stages so when the arms extended the biceps is relaxed when the arms flexed the bicep contracts and that's basically it for this tutorial so I'm not done yet though, in the next tutorial I'll teach you how to build custom muscle shapes to get a more realistic looking muscle at each of the three stages. And I'll also show you how to set up jiggle parameters as well, so we'll add some animation. So this was a basic introduction to Maya Muscle and applying a muscle deformer to a skeletal chain in Maya, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.